everyone it's Bakisa and welcome back to our channel here at the Canva Cafe and today's tutorial is going to be a fall inspired flyer so just watch and I will come back through if I need to um... <laughs> I'm sorry y'all my daughter is remodeling her room and apparently she doesn't know I'm doing a voiceover so she's uh, making noise so at the beginning the part that I was talking over is um, I uh what was i saying lord jesus go ahead and make yourself a scrap paper with all the things that you think you may require for making a, a fall inspired flyer so now that i decided what i wanted um we're gonna go from here as you see i used the background that i picked with the leaves and i made it a little bit transparent and i added the young lady and took the background out and now I'm just adding this gold piece in the corner. And now I'm going to mute myself because this noise is getting out of hand. Okay, well, I'm back. <laughs> so I'm just using these fun fonts. And you can screenshot or look closely to see the font I'm using. And while I'm designing, I found things. When I find things I like, I go ahead and put them in a folder to save them for later. So I'm just grouping all the words together that I want to use obviously <laughs> and now I want to add some dimension to the words so I'm just gonna put the little gold background so I can see and I'm just gonna add shadows so that the letters look a little bit more dimensional. And I'm just using that gold, like I said, just so I can see what I'm doing because of course you, I wouldn't be able to see it on the black background and then I just move it back. And I do that because if some of the gold is under the words, I want it to be like lifted. So I probably don't have to do all the letters, but I just do it just in case I decide to change my design and that shadow effect will still be there. And I'm doing the same thing for the young lady because I thought I was just gonna use a regular shadow and I wanted to see, but then I end up deciding to tie the shadow in with the rest of the background, or not the rest of the background, but with her um, blouse to add a little pop of, extra pop of color. And I also wanted the word in to um, tie in with the rest of the color. So I'm going to use the dropper tool and then hover over her blouse. So that is the same color um, as her shirt. And the more um, keywords you know in Canva to find um, elements, the easier it is to design with. And um, if you haven't seen my last video, I did post a few, um, I believe it was 47 um, elements inside of Canva that you can use for glam designs. So if you haven't seen that video, it's the one right before this one. And so since our sale is $100, I just found some $100 bills, $100 bills, y'all. And uh, <laughs> don't pay me no attention. Um, so I'm just placing them wherever I want. And you can place them wherever you want to also. But if you're following along, then you would just put them where I'm putting them. And then I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent so that it's not popping out so much. And if you hear the other noise, yes, I need to change the battery in my um, fire alarm. Okay. All right. That's that. And I also did the 100 in the same color just so that everything, you know, is a little cohesive. And sometimes more is less more is less less is more so less is more or more is less. you know however the saying go I can't think right now so with the money I did just put like little corners of it just so it can peek through and also because this is a fall inspired um, flyer I did put that um, pumpkin back there and it happens to be black and gold and this rib edge is from my last um, tutorial, like I said, with all the elements. And 
And I wanted to show you this. This is the Google Map app inside of Canva. And you can put your address inside of there and it'll populate a map. Now you can't use it for a flyer, of course, or Instagram posts, of course, for it to be interactive, but you could include it inside of your emails that you send out whenever you send out your email blast and people can click it to find your location. But even though it can't be interactive on the Instagram post, it still, as you can see, will show the location. So people can still look and get a glimpse of where you're located. So you can use it in that sense on your post. But like I said, if you want people to click it, you have to use it within something that is clickable, like maybe your email campaigns or something like that. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little inspirational tutorial. I think most of my tutorials are more inspirational. And at the end of this flyer, this completed flyer, I'm going to show you some more um, inspiration. <laughs> I keep using the word inspiration. I can't think of nothing else. But um, some other creative things to do. And right there, I just keep playing with the, um, the words because I didn't know what color I wanted. And I added this little flare to make the fall word um, look more blingy since it's gold. Don't mind those other two gold things on there at the bottom. I just was doing some other things while I was recording. But um, I end up using the shadow and using the glow over the 100 to make it pop a little bit more. So I had it outlined in like a a yellowy gold so the 100 will pop a little bit more. And that's the completed flyer. And here I'm just showing you different color versions of it depending on your branding. And it's still another way of taking one flyer and make it into several others. You can change the colors with the season and what have you. And I'm just going to show you some other um, background um, inspirations or suggestions. Please follow me on my other Instagram pages, the Canva Cafe and Tresses Leche for a lot more canva tutorials and flyer inspiration so let me know which one you like um, also don't forget to let me know in the comment section other tutorials that you're interested in or any information about canva that you would like answered i'm trying to keep the videos coming between me and my mom's schedule and not my mother but me being a mom my schedule i'm really trying to get these videos out because a lot of people always say hey i'm not that creative but Neither am I. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.